All right, Jim, this one I know you've been to before in different incarnations, as have all the tourers. But the current one combines two haunts, Dead Central, which is a zombie theme, and Dead Rising, which is a hospital theme, into one. What did you think? Yes, overall, I mean, <clears throat> I think um, in the somewhat small use of space, I, I thought uh, there were some effective touches. I mean, the let's just start with the actors themselves. I, I thought, you know... Overall, you know, uh, very much engaged. Uh, I, I didn't feel that it was really, you know, as sometimes the case with haunts, more of a, a one note or, or just, you know, uh, kind of a shrillness to it that just seems monotonous after a while. I, I thought the actors were, uh, you know, well used and well spaced. Um, for me, I had to say a couple, a couple of the highlights that stood out for me were, um, you know, one room where uh, it almost uh, sort of mirrored like an elevator shaft that had the car rocking with smoke kind of rising up from the floor. I, th I thought that was, you know, very effective. Uh, as you move through then later into the uh, hospital, kind of a psych ward, uh, you know, wing had uh, a room that looked to be, you know, kind of uh, frozen and, you know, covered with ice and actually felt colder as you entered and exited the room. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, as you left, you kind of thought the, the haunt itself was finished. Um, it, it's, there was a part that, uh, kind of resembled more of a, a fun house type thing that with, with bright colors and, you know, uh, clowns that were sort of jumping out. Um, I'm not sure that, that, you know, necessarily enhanced the experience. It, it possibly could have been anticlimactic, but, you know, with that said, uh, you know, again, when you factor in the two houses plus, a minute or so devoted to an introduction, kind of setting the, the, the stage, which I have no problem with in, in, you know, in theory. Um, but combined, when you're talking about a roughly eight-minute haunt, um, overall might not be the best ratio in terms of you know, cost of haunt to actual time spent. Uh, there are certainly uh, haunts that are a little bit more efficient and have a, a closer to a one-to-one -one ratio for an eight-minute haunt versus a $17 full-price ticket. Um, again, solid. I mean, that's, that's I, I'd say, the word that, that to me, summarizes it. Um, and overall, you know, again, is, is it a better experience than my, you know, uh, visit probably a decade or so ago in a previous incarnation? I'd say yes, it is. Um, but with that said, I'd say overall uh, three-and-a-half chainsaw rating for me. Okay, return visit to a combo haunt this time. Dead Rising and Dead Central used to be two, now they're one. Is it two for the price of one, Laura? What did you think? Well, well, I would say well, it's two for the price of one. I I liked it. I mean, we've been there in previous years, and it was good. I I enjoyed it. There are some good things in there. First, I have to say the weight entertainment. There's this guy with, I mean, there's a, a clown that juggles, and there's a guy with a clown with a chainsaw, and then there's another guy with these like teeth. And he, the best part of it is when you're going through the hunt, he, he appears. And I like that because he would just appear out of nowhere and, like, surprise us. And I, I like that. he was The acting was great. The haunts itself, they were a little short. I mean, they were good. But for the price that you would normally pay for it, it's a little expensive for the, the length of the actual haunt. One thing I did like about it that Jim mentioned is that you get into an elevator and... You know, the lighting's cool in the elevator, and it bounces you around like any other elevator you see in a haunt. But there was actually smoke coming out of it. I know he mentioned that, which gave it a great effect because it was like the fog and smoke. And then when it, the door opened, it had like it had the elevator music, which was really cool. That was a nice effect. So there were things in there that I really did enjoy. And but for the price and. I don't know. I mean, if you take the, the ratio for the price and then the length, it's a little little off there. But I do, I mean, if you're in the area, definitely check it out. I mean, it's worth seeing. I give it a, a three and a half this year. Dead Rising slash Dead Central. It was nice to see both of them combined. We enjoyed Dead Central, which is the hospital theme, a couple of years ago. We really liked it, but it was extremely short. It was about five minutes long at the time. Last year, they didn't have it, and this year, it's combined with Dead Rising, which is a zombie-themed haunt. The good thing is, 
is that Dead Rising used to have a lot of empty maze space with no actors in it, just some dark maze. And it really wasn't completely dark because you could, this is held in a fun center and you could see the baseball, the batting cages operating, you could hear this type of thing. So it really was just a waste of empty space. But now that is replaced by Dead Central. So you go right from Dead Rising to Dead Central. So it switches themes and I like that. That's a definite plus. Basically, some of the sets are quite good. There's a kitchen scene that's detailed. There's a fireplace scene that we really like. The aforementioned elevator that Jim mentioned, which is kind of funny. You see that in Haunts. But this one actually adds red lighting and smoke when the elevator goes bad. And then when it opens, that's when the elevator music plays, which is kind of funny because it's already done and over with. But you have this sort of wonky, out-of-tune elevator music when it's done. That That's a nice, clever touch. Again, zombies. How much can you do with zombies? But the actors there... They were decent for what they were doing, okay? It's kind of... Contrary to what Jim says, though, I, I do have to say that some of the acting was a bit shrill, a bit of screaming and get out of here, get out of there. A little bit one-note monotonous here and there. Not all the way through, though. There were some good actors, too. And speaking of, the line entertainment was outstanding. The, the, the creepy clown, a couple of creepy clowns, the juggling clown and the chainsaw clown. And then there was this guy, he was sort of like a zombie in a white outfit with teeth and crazy eyes. And he followed us through all of the mazes. He was there as Wade Entertainment, and then he popped in and out. He was great. Best thing about it, he was great. And I'm glad that he jumped in and out of the different haunts. As Jim mentioned, though, one of my main problems with Dead Rising and now Dead Central is the length for the money. Altogether, about eight minutes, and that includes an introduction that runs at least a minute long. It's just a video introduction sort of setting up the haunt. I will say, though, that last year the video was just one guy talking to a screen. This year they actually showed some footage of these zombies, quote-unquote, that were attacking. And that's nice that they intercut that footage. It breaks up the monotony of listening to the introduction. But nevertheless, although it is part of the setup, really, if you take it away, it's a seven-minute haunt for $17. That's a bit steep in my book. I have to be honest with that. That That's quite pricey. Uh, it's interesting to note that this haunt has gone up in price over the years, but the length has never gotten much longer. So that's kind of interesting. Overall, I'm going to rate it just about a 3. Am I out of order? Because, Jim, you're going to show me first, right? No, Jim's first. I'm starting with Jim. Because oh. I also say Jim said. Okay, because I'm referring to what Jim said. No, Jim is first. Okay, oh, no. Am I, do I have to start over? No. Okay. So anyway... <laughs> okay. Now you have to start over. Yeah. You need to look that thing.